What's up YouTube and Vizo87 here and today we've got the long awaited video, the yearly check in. This is when I'm going to go through my entire collection, showcase everything I have and, and just an overall general update on basically what I'm looking for. I don't have my lists open though, so I'm not going to know offhand like what I'm missing. Um, but I am currently missing 45 cards from Gateway, 20 cards from Alliance, and then just the other little doodad things that I want. I'm also still missing three unlimited foils, um, and one of those is currently pending. So, uh, there is a rumor going around that I have 16 copies of every single card in the game, and that I'm being a hog and not letting anyone have cards or whatever. Uh, this video is really going to show that that is completely fabricated and made up. Uh, Gateway is the only set where I do come close to those numbers. I will definitely admit that. And with the, how many foil types there are, it's pretty understandable. Uh, but understand that literally half of what I own are non-foils. So I just, I don't understand the logic. I really don't. And this person keeps saying it and saying it and saying it. And people are starting to believe it. So let's squash all, the th let's, let's squash all of it right here and now. Uh, we're going to start with Ghost Files. I'm going to have two binders open at the same time. Normally I go binder by binder, but uh, I'm going to go by two every two binders for this. Uh, hold on. Okay. Uh, Origins, Ghost Files. So I'm going to have two binders open here. I'm going to open up the second one here on the side. This is where the uh, play sets and stuff are. Is that going to stay open? No? Okay, well, we'll deal with that when we get there. Um, so we have this origin sheet here. This is what's going to be the original name of Ghost Files. Uh, however, Score decided to change it to Ghost Files because they felt that Origins might be too obscure of a name for people to realize that they were talking about Yu Yu Hagasho. So this was like a beta, you know, promotional sheet that was made. Um, so that's what the starter decks were originally going to look like. It was going to originally have uh, Yusuke on. It was going to say Street Fighter. Obviously, none of that came to pass. They changed all of it. Um, and then, you know, they just talk about the game in the series here. Premier started to contain 182 cards, which they changed it to 180. Uh, I'm not sure what changes they made, but, you know, plus 10 promo cards. I don't think there were 10 promo cards by the time it was... Oh, well, maybe they were counting Epic Tales towards the 182. Um, and then one foil in every two boosters. They changed that as well. Um, it ended up being one out of every three-ish boosters. So, yeah. Uh, here was another sheet. Uh, from May 2003, just a promotional sheet showing that, you know, Yu Yu Hagasho's on its way, man. First release titled Origins. Same thing, this sheet had it called Origins. Um, so very cool stuff. This was just a retail newsletter. Uh, I don't, I got, I got this from somewhere. I don't remember where. Maybe eBay. I don't remember at this point, but it was pretty cool. Jumping into the pre-release cards. So these were the cards that were released in the demo deck. Uh, this, these two are actually the same card. I have a total of eight copies of this because I have four of a use K, four of Rando. But if you flip it, well, I guess it won't work because I don't think there's a... Oh, no, is there a back? Oh, no, wait. Oh, no, I have cards on the back. Um, but, yeah, so... And just for funsies, I kept both of them. I mean, they're very easy to get. The non-foil use K that released as foil in the original set. We have the Origins card that was handed out at Origins in 2002, 2003. I don't remember. Uh, these are pretty rare now uh, because most people discarded them. Uh, this rando was a pre-release rando. You can tell because it only has a uh, psychic mimic on it. The rando that released in Ghost Files actually had um, second attack on it. Uh, Abnormal Endurance also had an edit on this. They say and shuffle, whereas the uh, official releases uh, has S H U F and then a hyphen and it finishes the word in the next line. And then the uh, you know not for resale, do not shuffle thing. And then here's the the rest of them. I also have a. Spirit Gun, oh no, that, I'm sorry. I also have a Storm of Torment here. This is the, hold on. Yeah, this is the C, this is the corrected version of Storm of Torment that never released. Uh, you'll notice that it says plus 1,000 attack. The card in the set says plus 500. They made a mistake on this. When they went to re-release it, they typoed and changed this to plus 1,000. It's supposed to be plus 500. So I think that might be part of the reason why this never got an official release. Um, but it is only available in first edition. We also have the two Any Last Request cards. This is the... Boo Saga and the... No, Kid Boo and Fusion Saga, or maybe it was the other way around. That's why there's two different cop copies in here. I have them in the playset binders too, but they're actually in Alliance. I have them at the end. Um, so yeah, I can't flip to those and show those. But I have four copies of all of these, including the Storm of Torment. Uh, both sets of any last requests, I have four copies. I have four copies of all of these. Um, four of each of these, so I guess technically I have eight of it. Just for, you know, clarity's sake. We have uh, this pre-release sheet here. I think this was included in the kit. I can't remember. I think it was included in the kit. We have the standee that was included in the kit. 
uh, the pre-release kit. We also have the uh, sold here sign, which is really hard to find in mint condition. As you can see, there's some uh, ink here because they uh, put it on the same side as this paper. So it's the ink from this paper that got on there. I mean, just look at that. Oof. Yeah, they goofed. Um, so yeah, this was the sheet that went with the pre-release kits. As you can see, it was the back of it. The seven, you can see the seven on the back of this. So yeah, you can see where they, they messed up. They done goofed. We have, um, this was given to uh, retailers. There's two different ones in here because one of them had a typo on it. There was a mistake on the back of one of them. I can't remember which one's which. I don't feel like pulling them out. We also have a poster that was included in the pre-release kits. So that's in here. I think I've got two posters in there. We also have some unused first edition wrappers. We have the Yusuke, Hiei, and a Kuwabara. So very cool stuff. Getting into the actual cards. Um, a couple of months ago, I changed, or maybe it was last year, I changed how I did the binders. I changed it to being first edition, followed by the standard edition. I'm going to try to remember to call it the correct edition. Unlimited is actually incorrect. It's actually called standard edition, just to put that out there. Um, but it's just easier to say unlimited, and we've been saying it for so long. So yeah, we have first editions and unlimiteds in here. There's only times one copy of all of these in here. But if we go over here, so I'm going to try to remember to flip both of these at the same time. If I can, hold on one second. I'm going to use a tissue box to balance this a little bit. There we go. Um, so yeah, so there are three copies here. And then one copy and one copy. So in total, there are five copies here. We have one first edition, one standard edition, and then over here we have three for a playset. The binder over here on the right never gets used. These are the cards that stay in here forever. They're my most mint condition cards, and, they, um, and they're going to stay that way. So we have the same thing with Suzaku, first edition, unlimited. Uh, Suzuka, I mean. Um, Suz I'm sorry, Suzaku and then Suzuka, and then Risho and Yusuke. Um, so yeah, I mean, these are just, I mean, we've seen this a couple of times now. You saw them in the videos that were earlier. There's only, again, times one of everything in here. And then over here to the right, I'm going to flip this. This is all times three, unless the card is good. If the card is good, I kept six copies for two play sets because my sister also used to play. So there's three copies of all those in there and then one copy here. So if you're looking for time 16, I'm not your guy. I do not have time 16 of these friends. So I'm going to flip through a couple pages of each binder at the same time-ish. I didn't realize how difficult this was going to be. Uh, so yeah, as you notice, the Ranto here is, uh, two, has ability theft as well. So let me uh, toss on over here. There's, oh, again, there's three times copies of all these in here, and there's two in that main binder, again, giving five in total. There are a couple cards times six. For example, Deadly Attack, I have six copies. Six copies of Defensive Posture, six copies of Flux. Um, I think that might be it from this page from the Times 6 copies. So I'm going to flip it one more page. We'll talk a little bit more about it. Then we'll go back to the main binder. Uh, Zombies on the Hunt, I have Times 6. Uh, I think that's it from this page for Times 6. So going back to the main binder. Going back and forth here, friends. You guys have seen it all before. That's why I don't really care too much that I'm doing that. Um, so yeah, again, you know, all the cards, first edition and standard edition. Oh, and the uh, Abnormal Endurance, you can see it says S-H-U-F here. So that's how you know that this was the official release, whereas the one that has Shuffle on the second line is the pre-release. The only cards that were different were the Yusuke, Abnormal Endurance, Rando, and Pocket Communicator. So again, these are all, you know, first edition, standard edition. I might, let's, let's zoom in a little bit. There we go. That looks a little bit better, right, guys? So I guess I'm going to flip to a couple pages of this and then flip it back to the other. It'll get more important as we get to like Dark Tournament and Gateway. So let's flip over to here. Again, times three of most of these. Uh, I think all for one and one for all, I have times six. Can you love? I might have times six. Uh, no, it looks like times three. Overwhelming Kill. I think I have times six in there, maybe. Maybe. Feast of Souls, it's definitely six. Desperate Decision, six. Balton's Healing is six. Uh, signature moves, I think it's three actually. I should really make it six, but it's whatever. Good ref, I, I think I have a ton of it just for funsies. Uh, hold on, let's back out a little bit. There we go. I do intend to get good binders for these eventually. I did replace most of the protectors in the main binder. I just haven't done anything with these. Uh, most of these are times three. I think part of time is times six. Demonic tricks is times six? No, that looks like times three. Uh, I don't remember. Uh, times three, times three of, uh, power. 
I do have times for you recoups now. So another thing that I've been doing is trying to get three copies for this binder for all the first the limit one per deck cards, just because that'll be the last thing I collect for this. Uh, I'm not planning to do any standard edition playsets. I, I'm really just not interested in it. I'm happy with just the first editions. Um, so yeah, oh, and here's the uh, communication mirror, whereas the other one was pocket communicator. Again, a couple of these are times six. Uh, times three for most of these. Yeah, I think it's times three for all of these, actually. I think times three of this. Times six of baseball bat for sure. Times... Oh, no, only times three fishing pole, from what I can see. And then I think six rose whips and six power serums and six really big axe. Again, commons. Who cares? So let's flip back to the main binder. Like I said, we're going to keep flipping between the two. Keep it a little interesting. Keep it a little spicy. This video is going to be long, so I'm sorry. Um... But yeah, let's zoom in a little bit again. Or maybe I'll, maybe for Dark Tournament, what I'll do is I'll go through like the main binder first and then go through the playset binder. I think that might be a little bit better, actually. I think that might be the smarter way to do it. Instead of bouncing back and forth. So that's it. We're changing our minds. We're going to go through, we're going to finish all of Ghost Files and then we'll go back to the other binder. I think flipping between the two is kind of a pain in the butt. I think it's a little confusing. So we're going to finish this binder or finish Ghost Files at least. Um, so yeah, everything in here. Ghost Files is complete. If Ghost Files is the easiest set to complete. Uh, then we get the single rainbow foils here. Uh, the scratches. Uh, the promos. Okay, so let's look at these. All right, so we have Epic Tales. Pretty rare card. Uh, score Entertainment, Gold Stamped, Spirit Gun Double. We have a blank card with a first edition stamp on it. We have a blank card that is standard edition. And then an entirely blank card. This one, I believe, has both blank front and back. But it is a UU Hackershaw card. I can tell by the way it was cut. Um, so it was probably just a test print or whatever it was. And then we have a Void Stamped Singing Potential. To my knowledge, there's only one of these out there. And so people are like... One or two collectors want to get these, but it, there's only one copy of it out there. We also have the uh, some of the, we have the sealed magazines with some of the promo cards in them. Uh, it's behind here. It's it's right underneath here. You can see it a little bit. Uh, and then we have undefeated. I don't remember what comes in here. It's something. See, you, you have a show card, and then we have the UFS. We'll get to that in a minute. So let's finish this binder. Oops, I didn't realize my finger was there. Sorry, friends. Um. Times six spirit, maybe times six spirit rings. I'm not sure. Times three of most of these. The text in particular, I know I have times three of just about all of them. Uh, there's one, there's like one tech that I have two cop, uh, six copies. Of. Oh, tornado fists. I think it's tornado fists that I have six copies of. Only because it was a uh, back in Ghost Files with Team Urameshi. This was very good. Uh, so we have times three of Younger Taguro, times three Burst of Power, times... I only kept three halts. I didn't bother keeping six. Three I'm Calling You Outs. We have three of all these. We also have three of the Unconscious. I, at least I hope I do. I'm pretty sure I do. Uh, times three, times three, times three. Six Losts, six Rose with Thorn Wheels, three Ice Blades, three Katanas. I have six Orb Bass. Technically, I have eight um, because I have two that are signed. Or something, or maybe I have nine Orba Basts. I don't remember. I have some amount in there. I, I'm, I have two play sets though. Two play sets of Orba Bast. Uh, Singing Potential, Perfect Bounce, Under Pressure, Life Frets. Three copies of all of those. Three copies of all of these, including Sack. Three of this, three of this, three of that. Uh, we actually have more. And then we have another set down here. Uh, these are all signed. We have a Justin Cook signed scored, um, Spirit Gun Double score stamped. Some. Signature, who I don't know, and another Justin Cook signed Spirit Gun Double score stamped. I kept these because they're cool signature cards. Uh, we have UFS over here. Uh, I have four copies of all these. I'm going to flip through this super, super fast. I don't plan to spend much time here. But yeah, I have six copies of six copies. Four copies of all of these. Including the Ultra Rare, some of which are pretty expensive. Set 2 is coming out soon, end of the, by the end of the year, I believe. Then we have the um, alt arts. These are really difficult to get. I have one copy, or two copies, actually, I believe, of all of these in here. Uh, I am looking for one more copy of the select format characters card. If I never get it, I never get it. I don't really care. Um, but yeah, you can see that they're full arts on the back. We also have the Worlds 2000... 
1920, 2020 cards. I can't remember what year. Uh, you'll notice that there's two cool bars in here because there was an error on this cool bar. They put the block at top and it was supposed to be block in the middle. So they released this cool bar at Worlds, at Worlds as well to, you know, you're not supposed to use this one. You're not supposed to use, you're supposed to use this one if you were going to. We also have, oh no, these are the Worlds 2020s. Those are the alt foils, my bad. We also have these. We have a last promo down here. Uh, Friends and Rivals. There's been no other promos released for UFS, at least for now for you, you hack a show, but these are the world's ones. I'm sorry. The other ones were supposed to be given out at like tournaments and stuff like that. And then we have uh, more copies of uh, Friends and Rivals here, as well as all the other cards. I don't know why I have this in here. I think it was something wrong with it. Like it was crimped or something. I don't remember. Um, so yeah, that was that's UFS. Uh, like I said, I have four copies of everything except the promos. I only have four copies of this promo, but I have... Oh no, actually I lied. Wait a minute. I have four copies of all the promos. I lied. I have eight copies of Friends and Rivals. One copy of these. Except for Suzaku. Suzaku, I have four. Um, and then one copy of all of these as well. So, I'm looking for more of those, I guess. I'm also looking for another sealed, I guess, full arts. Um, if I find it, that would be cool. If not, no big deal. Alright, Dark Tournament. Um, hold on. I'm going to close this up. Give me one second, friends. Hold on, I'm going to put you down for just a second, just so I can close this appropriately and put it in a safe place. I'll put it over here for now. Ugh. Okay, now we have a little more wiggle room. I'm going to open this binder. Here we go. Dark Tournament. You notice we got some cards out of the side. We'll get to those in a minute. Dark Tournament, here is the promotional sales sheet. Um, supposedly, there might be two different kinds of sales sheets. One that has just the booster pack and one that was sent to retail stores like, you know, Walmarts and Targets that would normally sell your blister packs. Um, and we'll talk more about that when we get to Dark Tournament. Uh, not Dark Tournament. Uh, Betrayal. Uh, we have some unused sheets here. So these are pretty cool. We have the Burst of Power sealed in here because I didn't have any other place for it. And we also have Spirit Pack 2 unused sheets. We have the 9-card puzzle. Um, there is two... Oh, I guess I have two copies in here. I don't really know why, but I have two copies of it in here. And I have like three copies in, in the playset binder at the end. Uh, we have the team bonus cards, all times one. We have all the other inserts in there, times one. Uh, we've got the two blank spaces there. That's because, uh, yeah, we'll get to that in a second. Um, no, you know, well, let's just do it now. So we do have dark one. We have an unsigned. Um, and we have, I'm going to put the, where is it? So we do have the signed and the unsigned dark ones. This one's graded at a nine. Kind of, I, I kind of want to crack that. I don't like it being in there. Um, and then we have the Scott Sager. He's confirmed that this is his signature uh, signed dark one. And then the reprint dark one. And then all of the cards in the set. We'll get to the play sets in a minute. Um, Win Shinobi. So there are two different types of Win Shinobi. I notice one is blue, one is black. The black background was actually not supposed to be made. Um, but they needed a slot to fill in on the uncut sheet. And they said, you know what? He was kind of in, you know, it was kind of thought that Win Shinobi was maybe the leader of the team, which turned out to be Jin. Um, so they made one, they made a team leader and a non-team leader version. But the, originally it was supposed to be just the non-team leader. Uh, so yeah, this is Times 1 Copies, first edition, and followed by the standard edition of all the cards. You guys have seen this. I had a video on this not too long ago, or I guess really five months ago at this point. Um, so yeah, let's talk about how we do the binder in here. First edition foil, standard edition foil, first edition non-foil, standard edition non-foil. There are, um, so there, I guess there's technically four copies here. And then we have four first edition foils. I'm sorry, three other first edition foils, three more non, um, three more first edition non-foils. So we have four of this. One of this, so that's five. Four of this, one of this. So it's another five, that comes out to ten. Is that sixteen? Is it? Five plus five, is that sixteen? Nope, it's not. All right, let's keep going. Uh, same thing for all the cards. I didn't really keep two play sets of any of the cards in here, except maybe Flashback. I would have to look. I think Flashback, I did keep two sets, so that would be a total of 13 cards. Still not at that 16, though. Uh, I don't think I kept any non-foils in two sets. I think I just kept one set of all the non-foils. Captured Souls, I do have when we get to the other binder, I guess. So yeah, we're going to flip through this. You guys saw this just a couple of months ago when I rearranged everything. 
That took a lot of time. That was that was COVID time, baby. That was COVID time. So yep, four copies in here. That's all you see. And then four copies, uh, three and three in other places. Like I said, four plus three plus three, or five plus five, depending on how you look at it. Still 10, not 16. We're going to keep saying that too, because clearly if you, uh, they say if you say something seven times, you remember it better than saying it once. And, uh, you know, got to make it clear here. I'm going to take a couple of seconds break from talking. I did a lot of it. Uh, Dark Tournament is complete, though. All the cards are here. We have every single card, both first edition and unlimited. Unless you count uncut sheets, in which case I don't have them all. But as far as I'm concerned, in terms of regular cards, we have them all, including Mitsunari, yes, Yanagisawa's Territory. That was a fun one for a couple of years. Tournament cards, spirit pack cards, whatever you want to call them. Uh, the blank space here is the uh, sealed burst of power that's in the other place now. I guess I should really fix this, huh? Uh, the promos. And then the league set. Yeah, I really should fix it. Oh, and then the precise. Uh, so this is a precise evasion. It says draft, if you look closely enough at the card. Um, again, that was just a beta test card. If you're going for a collection, you don't need that. I just, you know, it was available, so I got it. Duh. Uh, Scry issue, whatever. I believe this has Karama's Last Stand in it. And that was the only magazine for set two. So let's hop on over to the play sets. Um, so there are three copies of everything in here. Some of them are times six. Like I can tell you right now, Yoko is times six. Even the reprint dark one, we got times three of it. Uh, we do have three of the team leader, three of the non-team leader. Uh, I did get a third uh, together until the end of time and Forlorn Hope. So I have three of those in there, even though it's a little bit one per deck. Again, I'm just trying to get three copies of everything in here. I really didn't add a whole lot of stuff. It was mostly from Gateway that it added stuff, and that was mostly the higher rarity. Um, we do also have... Hold on. We do have an unsigned original set of Dark Ones. So I do have a playset of the unsigned ones. And we also have... Here, I'm going to separate them out. A playset as well of the signed ones. As you notice, this is not the Scott Sager one. This is signed by someone with RMS. Uh, I did get a little more details about this. Uh, that this was someone that was not like directly involved with the game, but worked in score, and thus they were given the cards, and they signed it here on the side. I did reach out to someone who I thought this may have belonged to, but they didn't respond to me. Um, but when I reached out to... Oh, gosh, who was it? I want to say it was Adam Sheehan. He uh, he said that this is definitely legit signatures. He goes, I... Or whoever it was. It was either Scott or Adam. And they said, I definitely recognize the signature. It was definitely someone that worked in the company, but they couldn't remember the name. So these are legitimate signed dark ones. I mean, these are these are selling for a hot tamale now. I heard the last signed one sold for $3,000. And I've got, you know... Yeah. So those are selling for quite a bit now. Uh, anyway, so we have times three of everything in here. Allied Forces, I have times six. Yoko, I have six. Um, I do have three of the Botan's Toolbox. Three of all these. Three of the Common Foils. Uh, I do have six Yama's Wraths, though. So these are all the Common Foils. I have three. Again, I have three of all of them, including Captured Souls. I don't think... I think six is Saki was lighter. Nope, that looks like three to me. I think I kept six non-foils. But kept three foils. So yeah. Uh, oh, and there is four standoffs because it's a limit two per deck. So there are four standoffs in here. You know, enough to make two play sets. And actually, flashback is times six. Okay. I couldn't remember. Um, times three of everything here. Except jury, but no, that's that's different. That's jury. Uh, times three. Yep, times three of everything here. Nothing here is times six. Uh, times six Roku Yukai challenges. Times four Freak Show because it's a limit two per deck. Everything else here is times three. These are all times three, times three, including uh, Mitsunari Yanagisawa's territory. Times three. We have times. I think we have times three halts here. Maybe times six. Three epic showdowns. 
Three I'm calling you out. Three of the rest of these. Hold on, I'm feeling because it'll feel different if it's time six. Oh. Uh, Kodo, I have got a lot. <laughs> oh, I forgot to bring the Kodos out. I forgot that last video too. Uh, in a tin. In like a lunch tin type. Oh, oh, that's falling. Okay. Okay. Uh, we've got a malfunction here. Ugh. Sorry, this is my sister's room that I'm doing this in because I don't technically have a room here. Uh, but I have times 100 of the Kodo. So, yeah. Huh. I bought those from someone a few years ago. Ugh. Okay, hold on one second. Let's do this without damaging anything. Sorry, friends. Okay, here we go. Oh, I do have times 6 of Spirit Barrow Blast, I think. Uh, three Bursts, three Mists, three Kramas, three Power Strikes, three Gotchas. Are we gonna are we gonna go through this again? Here we go. Okay. Oops, that's slipping out. And then three of the league set. Hold on. Uh, there we go. Sorry, it's a little slanted. What are these doing here? Oh, these are severely miscut. I just threw them in there temporarily. Uh, we'll get to uh, we'll get to dark tournament. I'm sorry, gateway in just a second. One sec. Uh, let me close. The Dark Tournament Binder. So that's why nothing bad happens to it. Um, so those were the... Dark Tournament. I don't know where my... Is it at the end of this binder? No. Where is my Dark Tournament non-foil set? I think I forgot to grab the binder with that in it. Yeah, it looks like I did. So I do have another binder with um, Dark Tournament. That has times three first edition non-foils. I guess I forgot to grab that. Oops. Uh, next up, hold on one second. I just, I'm going to move my dark ones out of the way so nothing bad happens. And we're going to move on to the worst set ever created. Gateway. What is this? Oh, look, it's an Inuyasha deck. Anyway, um, so Gateway. Gateway was a terrible, terrible set. Uh, there were five foil types. We have Lion, Cloudy, Jagged, Single Rainbow, Double Rainbow, and then the non-foils as well. This is the only set where um, I do hit that time 16 mark, but it's only for the tournament cards um, because there's four different foil types. For the Single Rainbows and Double Rainbows and non-foils, so the common and rare non-team leader cards, we have three, three non-foil first editions, one, I'm sorry, four first edition non-foils and then one unlimited non-foil so that's five we have four single rainbows yeah four single rainbows and then an unlimited four double rainbows and an unlimited so that's 15 still not 16 that the number that the, that keeps to being tossed around except for the spirit pack cards because there's there's a lot of those um but um yeah th like i said gateway is the only set where that number comes close to that that number that was being tossed around so this is the sales sheet. Again, I only have the uh, booster pack version. I don't know if there's a blister pack version also. I assume there is, but there might not be. And then an unused wrapper. Okay, so we've got the single rainbow, right? Yeah, single rainbow first edition, single rainbow standard, double rainbow first edition, double rainbow standard. And you can just tell. So here's the cool thing. Let me see if I can find a card that it looks really, really nice on. Okay, so here's a cool thing. I'm going to teach you guys something new here about double rainbows. Look at the black edge. So normally double rainbows, I had said in the past, look at the black edge is a terrible way to see that it's double rainbow. But if you look carefully, you're going to see, if you're looking, I can't use, but like right around here, you will see, if the quality comes out well enough, that the black edge is actually foiled. This is untrue for the single rainbows. The single rainbows, you notice that the black edge never actually lights up. Whereas the double rainbow, you can see that the black edge actually does have a slight foil to it. So that's another way to tell the double rainbows from your single rainbows, is if the edge is foiled, it's double rainbow. So yep, uh, times one of all these in there. I am trying to get times uh, four total of these, one in here, and then just three copies just because. I have most of them at times four for the single rainbows. I think I'm just missing like Yuri Atogi, one copy of it, I think. Uh, the double rainbows, I'm missing a copy of each. But yeah, um, see, if you look at the Yuri Atogi, see that second Yuri Atogi, you'll notice in the middle at the top, you can see that it's foil. Whereas like Team Masho, that's a single rainbow. 
you can't see it. It's just a flat foil. Whereas the Yuri Togi, you can see that it runs foil along the black edge. So you learned something new today, friends, if you kept watching 30 minutes in. Uh, like I said, this video is going to be a little bit long. Sorry, friends. Um, here's the rest of the team bonuses. We have the Hiei Exile preview card down here. This is worth a decent amount now. Which makes sense. I think it was always undervalued. Because it's only one per sheet, which means it's the same rarity as like a ghost rare. So it kind of makes sense. Uh, but we have standard lined first edition cloudy, standard cloudy, first edition jagged, standard cloud, uh, standard jagged. And then the joint elite, for whatever reason, they didn't ever put a stamp on it. So we have lined cloudy jacket. It's only available as standard edition. Okay. Gateway. Woo! First edition, standard edition, lined. First edition, standard edition, cloudy. First edition, standard edition, jagged. Lined, cloudy, jagged. Lined, cloudy, jagged. And so on and so forth. Again, we have times one of all these in here. So in total, we have two, four, six, right? And then we have seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we have a total of 15 sitting trees between here and that binder, which we'll get to in a second. I don't have two play sets of any of the cards. I can tell you that right now. Everything's only one play set in this set. Nothing is two play sets. Unless it's considered limit one per deck. Uh, but you guys saw a video on this not too long ago. So I am going to kind of flip through this a little on the quicker side. Because you guys have seen this. We're half hour in and we're not even halfway through. I'm um, hoping to make this video about an hour in length. Okay, let's get to talk about the rares and commons. Single rainbow, first edition. I don't know what that was. Single Rainbow Standard Edition. Double Rainbow First Edition. Double Rainbow Standard Edition. Non-Foil First Edition. Non-Foil Standard Edition. So it's going to be time six in here of all of these. And then again, we have three more copies of this, making nine. Three more copies of this, making 12. Three more copies of this, making 15. But again, about a, th well, at least for this set, about a third of them, about half of them, are non-foils. So if out of the 15, we have four, five... Oh, no, I guess it's a third then. So out of the 15, five of them are non-foils. And five of them are standard, your standard, you know, um, single rainbows. I couldn't think of the word. Which I didn't realize that the storage on my phone ran out. <laughs> uh, so we're going to try this again. Uh, this is looks like this is where we last left off. I, I got through the entire binder and I missed all of it. Uh, so as I was saying, times five first editions. Oh, sorry, times four first editions. Times one of this. So five of these, five of single rainbows, five of double rainbows, five of non foils. So it's fifteen. So just tossing that out there. I'm gonna go through this super fast now because I literally went through this entire thing once already, and I'm really upset. <laughs> Because I, oh my gosh, that means my entire Double Rainbow lesson went out the window. Um, so there's a couple ways you can tell Double Rainbows. You can tell by the vertical foil on it. You can see that there's a vertical rainbow running up and down. Whereas the single rainbows, you don't see that. There's also another way to tell. Um, and I'm going to try to show it on this. Can we? No, maybe Mini Game Action Battle isn't the best card for it. Which, What was the card I was doing it with? I don't remember now. Maybe. Oh, okay. I think it was Sensory's Energy Sphere. So the thing with the... It's not working now. Of course not. Whatever. I'll, I'll upload a separate video showing off something cool about the Double Rainbows and how you can tell on a Dark Style card if it's Double Rainbow or not. Um, but it's not working today. Man, now I'm going to have to go and edit this, bruh. Team Leaders, First Edition, Cloudy's, Lined, Cloudy, Jagged. Um, and then I have play sets in there. Spirit Tornado, I'm still looking for one of those in Double Rainbow. I recently picked one up. So you can tell the Meter Eye is Double Rainbow here. Um, yeah, we'll talk about that another time. So yep, um, Single Rainbow, Double Rainbow, and then uh, Non-Foil, First Editions, and Standard Edition, giving six in total. There's a video on this recently, so I'm going to flip through this super fast. You could just see that it is all complete, though. I did complete Gateway. Thank God. So we're going to flip through this lightning fast. Gateway is, is done in terms of this binder. 
I am so upset I lost the video. You guys don't even know. Um, and then we have the reprints. Same thing. I have a total of 15 of those. Three lined, uh, four, four lined, four cloudy, four jagged, and then an unlimited set, putting us at 15. I am looking for Fishing Pole, first edition jagged. So if you have this card here, first edition jagged, Fishing Pole, I'm looking for it. I'll buy it. And I'm also looking for an unconscious set as well, lined, cloudy, and jagged. Now, the only thing I do have time 16 of in the entire game with consistency is the tournament cards. Double rainbow, lined, cloudy, and jagged. I have four, 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 and four. Those are the only ones times 16. So I'll repeat again. These are the only ones times 16. The only ones. Everything else is under 16. So that person that keeps making up that fabricated number about how I have 16 of every card in the game, they are a liar. Do not listen to them. That is completely fabricated. Well, I guess 99% fabricated. Oh, no, hold on. I gotta get the cards back. Okay. Uh, League set was made both single rainbow and double rainbow. I have times four of all of these. I did recently complete uh, the tainted glares at times four. I had times three of those and four of the characters. It just didn't make sense, so I made a times four set. Hie. I missed it. Ugh. This is still the only known double rainbow. The only known one. This is still the only one that we know about. We don't know of any other double rainbows out there. We haven't found it. Also, you can see the beautiful edge, how foil it is. You see that the edge is foil, whereas the single rainbow, the edge isn't. See how it's like a flat foil on the edge? This one's got like a, like it stands out on the edge when you move it around. So yeah, still only times one. Supposedly there's more, but until we see it, it doesn't exist. Uh, Crazy Worlds. Double rainbow's not too hard to find. Head on Assault. Uh, I did get one a couple of months ago. I did try to get one more to finish the set, but the seller refused to sell to me. Oh, well, whatever. There's more out there. I know there's at least one other out there because I traded it to someone a couple of years ago. Big regret. I switched, I traded it for a single rainbow. Uh, the gap here is in case a double rainbow standard edition cool bar exists. I don't think it does. I think it only happened. I think it was only the single rainbow sheet that got the, the mistake on it, but... Who knows? Maybe there, maybe there is a. Maybe it might be out there. I don't think it is though. I think it's only single rainbow. But I left the gap there, just in case. Your Otoko doesn't exist as a double rainbow that we've seen. Same with these three. The double rainbows might exist. I have space for it just in case. Um, but until we see them, they don't exist. Two other cards I'm going to show off here. Head on assault. We have another double rainbow here that is graded at a nine. I wish it wasn't graded. Uh, and then a meditation. I kept this one for fun. This is a single rainbow. Um, but it is at a 9.5. Very, very nice. You know, high, that's the best condition meditation I've ever seen. So, yeah, you don't really find those in such a good condition. Going back into this binder. Man, I hate going through this whole speech again. Um, so, we have times three of all of these. Three line, three cloudy, three jaggeds. Um... Even though Bullseye's Limit 1 per deck, I did it anyway. I got the Cloudy, I think, in a collection, and then maybe bought the Lined recently. I can't remember. Uh, and then uh, I got an extra Jagged recently, and same person that spread lies about how many cards I own um, said that I that he thinks I was buying this out of spite. I, I wasn't. I don't buy cards out of spite. I'm not a petty child. Um, I buy if I want it for my collection or if I'm going to resell it. It's the only two reasons I buy. Uh, we have three of each of the Faces of Sensory here. I'm going to go through this quickly. There's times three of everything here. There is no two sets of anything. Everything here is one set only. I am looking for a couple of the setup cards in first edition and various foil types. Uh, um, they're not high priority, though. Uh, I am missing a couple of double rainbows. The single rainbows are done, uh, but the double rainbows are not. Wow, look at that. Look how nice that malice looks. Ugh. Um, but I am looking for a couple of cards here. I know like Madness, for instance, I'm pretty sure I'm still missing a double rainbow. I only have two, not three in there. And a couple of others. I know Rubber Slam, I'm missing, I think I'm missing two, yeah, I'm missing two Rubber Slams. I'm missing one tracking device. Um, I'm missing a Spirit Tornado. I'm missing a couple of things here and there. I'm imposing Evil, I'm missing two copies. Uh, the comments are a little bit better. But yeah, uh, I know Karama's Determination, I'm definitely missing. Um, so yeah, yep, yep, yep. I do have at least one copy of everything, though. Uh, 
but I am looking for play sets because I can. And then, like I said, there's times three of all the spirit pack cards in here. I know I'm looking for an aggression. I'm looking for a humans on the hunt. And there's times three of every foil type in here, even the limit one per deck. So I recently finished that. So that's the end of that. Uh, let's slide that up. Let's slide this over. And let's slide this over. And then finishing up Gateway. Uh, we do have each of the box toppers. We have three Euro Otico. Six Meditations. This is like the only card I have two sets of. So I do have six Meditations in here. Such a good card. Uh, blanks for the EA Determined Warrior. We have one head on Assault in here. That's a little smoky smell. We got three of the Use K, three of the EA, three of each Crazy World. So like I said, we have three of the single rainbow, one double rainbow here, and then one in the uh, the case. We have three of all of these, both single rainbow and double rainbow. We have three of all of these, except, like I said, fishing pole, if you have a jagged, please. We have two of each of these. I think I have three of, like, one of these three. Um, so if you have these, first edition, I might want them. Exile, 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 exile. Hopefully we don't run out of space again. That would be kind of annoying. Um, I have no place to put... Oh, no, I guess I could just do this. So exile... Ooh, that's going to be... Ugh, whatever. Exile. We got the sales sheet here. With both the starter deck that never came out and a booster pack. We have the non-existent uh, promotional sheet talking about all the stuff. We've gone through that before. First edition, standard edition, and inserts. And then we hop into the set. First edition, standard edition of everything. Here, I have a video up on my channel of this recently. So I'm going to flip through this very quickly. Uh, for the foils, we have four first editions, not all in here. So four first edition foils, one standard, so that's five. Four first edition non-foils, one standard non-foil, so that's another five. So we have a total of ten. Again, I'll keep saying it, not sixteen. Um, and then we only have five of the uh, higher rarities. We have four first editions, one unlimited. Oh, uh, use case alliance, I actually don't have that, but you get the idea. So yeah, this binder just has one of everything in it. Like I said, you could check out my one of my recent videos that showcased this. We're gonna flip through this fast. I'm afraid that my like my uh, my memory's gonna run out again because I I didn't really delete much. <laughs> so uh, we're trying here. We are trying. Oh, Exile! Why are you such a long set? But you can check that video out if you want to see things in a little more detail. Starter deck cards for the starter decks that never released. I have five copies, four first edition, one unlimited, or standard, I mean. Tournament cards, we have four copies of all of them except the Mercuro. That's something I'm working on at some point. League set, I have times four of all of them. Promos, I have times four of all of them. And then the magazines, we have Banished. This is Peak, and I think this is Malefic Grenade. I think. I don't remember. It's something. Yeah. Oh, you know what I forgot to do for Gateway, guys? I forgot to show something. The, uh, I'm just going to flip through it. These are just the non-foils. Three copies. My play sets are in there. All right. Uh, Exile play sets. We have three of everything, except I know the Yusuke, the Raver, and Mercurio. So the Kings, I only have two. I don't have three of it. Eventually, I'll get them. I'm not in a rush. Um, limit one per deck cards. Most of them, I only have two copies, not three. So again, that's something else I'm going to work on at some point or another. I'm focusing on the lower rarities first. Um, I am looking for a Team Rising Support First Edition foil. If you have one, let me know. And one of my friends is looking for a Boa Ha 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 First Edition foil. Although I think, I think there's one pending for him, depending if another deal went through. Um, otherwise, the rest of these are all times three First Edition foil. Uh, I don't think I have times six of anything in here, to, uh, first edition foil. But yeah, there is times, times three of everything in here, first edition foil. Except, uh, where is it? Magical drink. I only have two. I'm looking for one more magical drink. Starter deck cards, I have times three. Mercura, I only have times two. But for the uh, tournament cards, I have times three. Promos, I have times three, including Malefic Grenade. 
times three of the league sets times three. Perfect. Isn't that great? Uh, where is... Okay, I know where Betrayal is. Okay. Uh, oops. Okay, Betrayal, Sales Sheet. There are two of them in here. One that has both Booster and Blister. And there's another one, I'm not going to take it out, that has just the booster pack on it. So apparently there's two different types. Who knew? Uh, first edition and unlimited, uh, second edition, standard edition. I can't talk. Foil of the team bonus inserts. And then we hop into the actual set. Um, Betrayal, like Dark Tournament and Exile. I have five foils, five non-foils, coming out to a total of ten. I was like, why is that foil? I was so confused for a second. So yeah, there's four of everything in here. Um... Betrayal videos up in the channel. I think the only thing I have two play sets of is All for One and One for All and Friendly Fire. All for One and One for All I finished. The only one I haven't finished is Friendly Fire. I am missing one Friendly Fire. So if you have a Friendly Fire first edition foil, oh, and a recoup. I'm looking for a recoup as well. Uh, or a, a, and a first edition recuperation. I'm looking for those. As well as a first edition Yomi. King set, but uh, I'm not gonna bother buying that right now. That's on the back burner. I think the prices for that it's gonna are gonna fall at some point because nobody wants them anymore because too many of them got sold at once. So I think they're at a, I think they're at a lull right now. Tornado attack first edition foil. I hate that card. Oh, I hate you. And then the uh, tournament set. And then the promos, we got Serenity, Point Blank, we got Grimm's, Insert Cards, Hajime, and then Exa, uh, Exa, Alliance is also in here. A top on over to here, we have times three of everything except the Yomi, and we have times three of Alt Sack, times three Use Case Fury. Uh, we have six acceptable losses. Uh, I think we have six Human World Protect. Oh no, we only have three. We have six Reincarnations, though. Uh, I am looking for one recoup. We have times three of all these, including Daunting Inferno, I want to say. Yeah, Daunting Inferno, we only have three. Uh, three of all the rest of these, three of all the foils. Like I said, the foils I'm done with. I have times three of all of them, except all for one and one for all. Yeah, I do have six in there, so I have two sets of that foil. I kind of want to get Overwhelming Kill, but I, I also don't feel like going through the effort to get it. It's too expensive. So we're just going to be happy with the, uh, the three that we have. What is this that is just sitting here? Oh, okay. Wait, what is this that is just sitting here? Oh, okay. Whew. Uh, here we go. More Betrayal. Friendly Fire. Like I said, I'm looking for one more copy foil. Otherwise, I have the entire set times three. Uh, tournament cards times three of everything. DES. We have times six. Kodo. I don't remember how many Kodos I have. Uh, but I have times three of everything else. Oh, except the Spirit Blast, I have six. Serenity, I have three. Three, three, three. I have six Grim Determinations. Do I have... Oh, no. I have three. Okay, I couldn't remember if I had three Hajimes or not. But yeah, I do have three Hajimes in there. And six Grims. And then we get to Alliance. Let's hop into it. Again, there's the non-foils are in here. As you can see. And we have Alliance in there as well. Times three of everything in those. No times six. Uh, we do have... I forgot to show this. I forgot to show this when we did Exile. I have a graded Yusuke piece. So, yeah. I forgot to show that off when we did... Uh, when we did that. And we also have for Alliance... A first edition Ghost Rare piece. Got rated a nine. I hate that they're slabbed, but whatever. So Alliance, sales sheet here. I don't think there was ever blister packs. So I don't think that will... I think this might be the only sheet that there is for Alliance. So, yeah. Here are the insert cards, first edition and standard. Here are the uh, the set, standard, and first edition. This set is almost complete. I did recently do a binder. We're missing Toya. Yukina is pending. I have a trade pending for this right now. I did find someone with it. One of my old pals does have one. And I have cards he needs. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to get it at some point. So we're missing Toya. I'm going to flip through this fast because, again, binder video of this came went up recently, although it didn't have a couple of cards in it. 
Um, but yeah, this is basically done. Like, we're almost done with Alliance as well. Younger Tagoro, we did get an unlimited one. It's very damaged. I'm looking for another one. Like, it is really damaged. Um, in terms of Alliance, how many copies of things I have? Five foils, five non-foils. Very simple. Ten copies. I'll say it one last time. It's not 16. Uh, this next page, we are missing one. We're missing Molotov Cocktail. I do have four copies, first edition. None unlimited. Just been unlucky with it. And that is everything. And then a Brock's Nine Tails, a Blaine's Nine Tails in Japanese. That's everything from there. Let's hop into here. I like that it started right there in the upper left corner. We have three of this, six of this, three of this, I believe. Six of this, two and two. I am looking for a copy of each of these. Three, 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 three. Three, 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 three of all these as well. Oh, no, except Toya. We don't have Toya. And I, are we missing Yukina? No, we're not missing Yukina. We are missing Toya, though. Maybe Miyuki as well. We are missing a couple of things in the rares. I only need 20 more cards in Alliance to have times, or at least to have a playset foils of all of them. Not to have times four. Times four, I'm missing 22 cards in total. What's added to that is Psychic Scalpel and I want to say Quick Freeze. Yeah, I know we only have one copy in here of this, so I'm looking for... Or two copies, so I'm looking for one more. I'm glad I bought those Ankies a few years ago when I did. We have one foil set of Regression in here. So like I said, we're only missing 20 cards, technically 22, to finish the set. Suzuka is one in particular. I've missed out twice on it now. I'm very upset about it. I did finish Gale Force. I have three copies in there of it, thank God. Upsurge, three copies, thank God. Armor of Containment, three copies, thank God. Oh, and then here are all the, uh, uh, I think this is the Kid Boo Saga one. I think the other one's at the end. Origins times three. These are all times three. Times three, times three, times three, 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 three. Uh, some of these are not times three. Some of the double rainbows are not times three. Times three for those. Times three for all these. Times three for all these. Times three for all these. Here's, uh, this, this. Look at that. Times three. I'd want to say that the that's a fake dark one. Don't get scared. Look, it looks very real, right? But it's actually fake because it's unlimited. But it is, it is actually incredibly realistic looking. Uh, there are errors on it. We have an we have a standard edition tornado fist double here. Stamp missed the card. We have a signed, a couple of signed cards here, a couple of crimped cards here. That's why they're in here. It's over nine thousand. The scanners, Goku, Blue Boy signed, Blue Boy signed, a couple of things signed here, another Kodo just for funsies, a miscut, zombies, here are the two, oh, here are the two uh, signed Orbit Basts, oh, here's the other, um, any last requests, what is this doing in here, oh, it's a signed Epic Tales, okay, I was like, what is that doing there, a very miscut, Human World Protectors, you notice at the top of the card, it looks fine, but when we get to the bottom, it's really miscut, like, I don't know how that happened. And then we have a couple of misstamped cards here. And and then some card that had everything removed. Woo! That's the binders. That is the binders. We've got, we're not done yet, though. We got all this stuff to go through. We got sealed product for days. So let's start with this. Okay. Um, so this, okay, so this is just a regular demo deck. This is a mispacked demo deck that has two, what is it? Two Verver or Furies and no Desperate Temper inside. I'm not going to take it out. So that's pretty cool. We got some, we got the pre, really the demo kit, demo game. And we have booster boxes. We've got a lot of stuff in here. Uh, these are the, are these the, these are the Unlimited. So Unlimited, Exile, Betrayal, Gateway, Dark Tournament. We got first edition and unlimited starter decks here. Or maybe those are both first edition. We have unlimited ghost files. This is this box here is the uh, the Origins one. I'm not going to take it out. There's sleeves there. Then we have some... Oh, here's the first edition starter deck. Oh, no, this is the unlimited. Never mind. That's an extra. Uh, we do have booster boxes in here. We've got Betrayal, 
gateway. Hold on, let's do it this way. Uh, oh, it's being blocked. <laughs> uh, Dark Tournament's at the bottom, though. And then we have First Edition, Exile. We've got Gateway, and we got Ghost Files. I have two Gateways in here, because one of the Gateways uh, has a misprint on it. The uh, First Edition stamp is upside down. I thought it was just hilarious, so I kept it. And I uh, never sold it when I sold all my others. I just thought it was too funny to get rid of. Um, why is this not fitting anymore? There we go. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna leave that there for now. Uh, we have the first edition uh, Alliance box here. Gem Mints. Uh, we've got some other goodies here. A sealed alt foil pack. Times four copies of all of the alt foils from UFS. A sealed alt art. I'm sorry, those are the alt full arts. These are sealed full arts. These are, you like, you can't find these anymore. These are, I can't even believe I got this. Um, a demo deck with Epic Tales, as you can see. Very rare. An uncut sheet of Betrayal. Small sheet, though. We've got giant posters. I'm not going to open them. Of Betrayal. We have Gateway. And we have Exile. We got some other goodies in here. We've got some, um, we've got a lot of stuff in here. We've got a UFS sealed box. We've got a pack of Ruby. Uh, yeah, we got a couple of packs of DBZ mixed in here. Um, I'm not gonna really go crazy on this. Um, there are, so we've got blister packs. So we've got blister packs here. We've got standard editions. We've got a first edition use K in there. Uh, I am still missing a couple of the first editions. We have some, Sealed packs from the starter decks in here. We have the Blu-ray. Uh, we have a sealed, as you can see, a sealed case in here of starter decks. That is the, I can't remember if that's the first edition or the standard, but on the other side, over here, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, is the other one. Um, oops, sorry, friends. Uh, we've got the rest of the blister packs, as you can see, all lined up in here. I don't feel like taking them out. I have all the unlimited blister packs, except Alliance, if it exists. I don't know if it actually exists or not. Um, but I do have a first edition Ghost Files Yusuke, first edition Hiei and Shigure, I believe, from Exile, and first edition of Betrayal. So I'm missing first edition Gateways, Dark Tournament, and two from Ghost Files, one from Exile, and then Alliance, if it exists. We also have a sealed box here. This is a box of blister packs. This is Dark Tournament, uh, Unlimited. This is the uh, standard edition. UU24 pack. It's supposed to have more details, I think, than this on it. But this is the blister packs for Dark Tournament. We also have... I'm not going to really go too deep into it. But we have the scanners in here. It's still sealed with a use case in there. We've also got um, some league sheets. We've got Exile. I believe the red is Gateway. Yep, and the blue is... Oh, no, I'm sorry. Dark Tournament is the yellow one. Gateway. And Exile, so those are pretty cool. Uh, we don't have too much else in here, mostly other game sealed stuff like uh, Disgaea. We've got a DBZ. This box is worth like a hundred bucks now. Uh, we've got some Weiss Schwarz. We got this for a really good price. Original starter deck, a case closed sealed starter deck case. So that was really cool. I was really happy to pick that up. Um, case closed crime and punishment box. I have a sealed premiere set starter deck. I'm looking for a sealed box as well. Um, I think that covers everything though. The only thing I didn't really go into was that, uh, as well as a tin filled with some other cards in it. I'm not going to bother with those. I think that only the Kodos are in that now. Um, but yeah, I don't know where the Dark Tournament cards are. For the play sets, they're somewhere though. Yeah, these are all of the first edition non-foil play sets. I'm not going to go through that binder. Um, so I guess this video somehow man managed to be shorter than the other years. I think it's about an hour in length. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I have a, a lot to clean up now and I have stuff to put away. Um... Um, we do have another video coming soon, a humongous video. I'm not going to really say too much about it, but I think people will be very, very excited about it when it releases. And um, stay tuned. So we've got some Yu Yu Hagasho stuff coming this summer. Hoping to uh, finish up the card game this year. We'll see. Uh, but we do have some unpacking videos coming soon. We have an unboxing video uh, for some Japanese stuff that I'm coming that's coming in. That'll be sometime in the next two to four weeks. And uh, I have nothing incoming for, any, for Yu Yu Hakusho right now. 
I have some cards coming in for Inuyasha. And, and then some buddy fight stuff. Other than that, thank you for watching. I hope this, you know, proves I don't have 16 of most cards in the game. So I am once again telling the person who keeps saying this and keeps spreading lies about me to stop doing it. Like, stop. It's not funny. It's not cool. You're, you're not, you're not cool. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching. And until the next video, guys. Check out the links below. We have a link to the Facebook group that we've made now. There's um, my Instagram will be there. And soon there will be another link down there. But I'll make a video separate for that. Thank you guys for watching. As always, I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you on the next episode. Peace.